mom editing that camping trip I had from like a year or two ago. Two years ago, maybe. Yeah. And I want to just give y'all some context because I was actually hired to film this trip. A lot of the clips you'll see aren't like my usual vlog style clips. They're like of the other people and their stuff. So it's like, I'm, I still have some personal clips up in there, but it's a lot of more regular shots, like not made for my type of vlog. So I just want to give y'all some context. Also, I took this trip last minute, like literally I was down to an hour and my dad called me and was like, do you want to go to Bakersfield? They're going to be mountain biking, whitewater rafting, uh, uh, uh yada 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 camping and i was like dang i wish i had more than an hour to prepare but why not right i wasn't doing anything else that summer and just why not it's what, what could happen what could happen right so i got ready in under an hour i was very this is too bright i was very underprepared didn't have all the stuff i needed didn't have enough clothes needed to wash my hair didn't have sunscreen like it was just i was just very underprepared but despite that, one of the best times of my life, it was so fun. I want to go and do something like that again. Only things I really complained about is I came back home, was burnt as a potato. Like, I was a baked light skin. I was a baked light skin. My nose was peeling. I was brown. It just, I, I felt, I felt, my body felt crackly and burnt. Um, I smelled like outside. My hair was dirty. Like, it was just... I was very underprepared for that trip. Didn't have enough clothes on me. Like, it was just... But I had so much fun. And, yeah, I just want to give you all that little bit of context. Not film like a usual vlog. And, yeah. So, it's not going to be a whole bunch of talking from me. But, at, at least I think. I don't remember. But, um, yeah. Yeah. You take some time. Yeah, it's gonna come out. We might actually have to put you in an adult. How you feel? Hot. Hot. <laughs> Good news is at the top, it's about 15 degrees cooler. We get the heck out of this, and then we'll be in the trees a lot of the early part. Oh, downhill though. Uh, yeah, it's very actually very little pedaling. Yeah, it's nice and fun, just as long as you manage the brake. Who else needs to be checked over? You ready? You excited for today? No, where yes. are we going? Is Good. Where are you coming from? A little uh, bit. California. But the, the, yep. the bikes have all got at least front shocks. At least once for, for a break for a ch One giant tent over there. They're building a tent right there. And they set up like one, two, three, four, maybe five tents over there. Big trailer. We 
gotta take a picture holding your painting. I think she got yours. Let's do the color that I haven't used yet. You're gonna be taking a picture holding your painting. Like we did on the bus, life a holic, baby. See, you can't even, you can't even do it without smiling. Life a holic, baby. Grab a picture, Wait, wait, wait. One more, one more. We one more. Grab a picture, Look that way. Don't move a thing. Stay there, Z. Good job. Are you guys watching the Olympics? Aerial. Yeah, no. Using the brakes in a very nice, gentle, and steady way. So what I want everybody to do is raise your right hand. Okay, that is your rear brake. Okay, raise your left hand. That is your front brake. Now, a lot of times you might hear that, you know, jabbing on the front brake too hard will send you over the bars, and it will, but you do want to use your front brake. I like the brake. Feather your brakes if you need to. Feather, feather, give her some distance. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Are we leaving? Oh, okay. We are, oh, yeah. Is, oh yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this in your backpack, okay? Oh. 